Hey, good morning, YouTube. How y'all doing? This is your boy, Rob Thomas Jr. From the Real News Behind the News. Oh, uh, yeah, today is Tuesday, July 16, 2018, 2019. Here in Shreveport, Louisiana. And I'm in a position where I don't like doing this type of video, but I, I don't have a choice right now. Um, last week, as I was coming from home, I mean, coming from a job, um, I was stopped here by the Shreveport Police Department. Now, if you follow me here locally in Shreveport, or if you follow me on my Facebook page, you know that I've had quite a few um, incidents with the Shreveport Police Department where we actually fought them on, on some issues of corruption. There was issue of a murder, I mean, a killing, officer-involved shooting that took place here in Shreveport. Um, the situation that happened in front of my house on Mother's Day. All these issues have led me to come into some negative contact in a sense with Shreveport Police Department. They basically, you know, um, be following me around and I won't say so much harassing me, but they letting their presence be known and that they're not happy with me, you know, doing the political things that I do and making, bringing awareness to the situations that I, um, that they're involved in with some corruption and other things. Well, again, I was coming home from work the other day, man, and one of the officers uh, stopped me. Now, I'm gonna be real, I don't put my personal business out there too much, but, you know, being a single father, man, I have to make some choices. I had to make a choice between paying the rent and paying my insurance on my truck. Well, you know, I, I, I work my own, my own little business. Things have been kind of slow around here so I was barely able to pay my rent and my electric bill so I had to uh, put off paying my truck insurance where in the process of doing that when I got stopped by the police they used that as a means to take my vehicle they impounded my vehicle so now my son and I are in a desperate situation because every day that truck sits in impound is $24 it starts at $200 just for them to impound it and tow it to the impound and then every day it's $24. Um, I got to get my insurance first before I can do uh, do anything for us getting it out. So right now, you know, I'm trying to get back out and work, man. But I'm having to catch buses or try to get rides and get dropped off at these job sites. And then, like I say, I, my son, he might have to miss football practice for a couple of days until I can get this truck back. So I'm reaching out to, to those who have subscribed to my page. And if you think it's valuable, I'm gonna put a link up to a GoFund campaign, GoFundMe campaign, and hopefully I can get um, enough, you know, by the end of this week to at least get my insurance and start on getting my truck out. Normally I don't ask people for, for much. I don't ask people for nothing because I feel that a man should, stand on his own two feet, but I'm in a situation right now where I'm kind of desperate. I really need to, uh, need some financial support. You know, here locally, a lot of people have, uh, you know, said they and pledged their support, but here locally, it, it doesn't happen like that in Shreveport. People will sit back and say they support you just to get Facebook likes or just to get attention on my page. But when it comes down to it, I, I mean, I, I appreciate the prayers, but I really don't need Facebook likes, y'all. <laughs> I really right now need uh, money. But this GoFundMe campaign, me, uh, GoFundMe campaign that I got up, it's an old campaign. Whereas I was trying to get um, $800 up to get that vehicle. And uh, God blessed us to get the vehicle pretty much free of charge. You know, when you do good things, the Creator, He blesses good things to happen to you. But now... Um, my son and I really need you all's help. So I'm gonna put the link up to the GoFundMe campaign and if you all can help me get close to $500, I would be truly grateful. I know times are tough for everybody, man. And again, I hate doing these videos where it's like I'm begging, but think about it, a lot of people go to church every Sunday and pastor big for money. And a lot of times you don't never see where that money goes. You know, um, this is not an indictment on, on the church or anything like that, but if you know, you can give money to a pastor who's telling you stories to make you feel good or, you know, trying to lift you up. Please help me and my son because um, actually helping us will make, will actually 
you actually be doing some good because right now I can't afford it. And if I don't get this truck out of here by next week, man, I'm going to wind up losing it because the money goes, again, it goes up $24 a day. So if you all can see fit in your heart to make any kind of donation, you know what I'm saying, we would be truly appreciative of my son and I. And you will see where your money is going once if we get enough to go ahead and get our truck out because again that truck is my life i lose that truck i'm probably gonna lose my home and everything because i just don't have a way to get back and forth to the jobs i got jobs calling me now it's like it's like ironic that as soon as my truck gets taken from me my business is trying to pick up i had to turn down three or four jobs just yesterday because i don't even have the transportation to get there in a way to haul my tools and supplies and, you know, it's kind of sad, you know, my son, you know, asked me, am I going to be able to go to football practice, Dad? And I'm like, I don't know, son. So if y'all can help with anything, man, we would truly be grateful. Again, I'm going to put the link up to the GoFundMe page. I don't have a cash app right now. I would try to, you know, try to get a cash app and I'll redo a video and, and put the link up to that. But right now all I have access to is this GoFundMe page. So if you all can help in any kind of way, man, my son and I would truly be grateful. So again, I'm going to be uh, uploading some videos that I did on Facebook last week. Um, I'll be uploading that throughout the day. And I'm going to keep coming back with newer material. I keep saying that I'm going to be more and more consistent when I try to. But, you know, being a single father, man, there's always something coming up. Like today, I got to figure out how I'm going to get my son to football practice. You know, that's, that's, that's his joy. He loves that. And I can't disappoint him. I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm just trusting the Creator to help me out to do it. But if you all can help us with anything, man, we'd truly be grateful. So until y'all hear my voice, uh, again, on another one of these videos, it's your boy Rob Thomas Jr. asking if you all can help us, please help us out, man. Because, again, the police here are targeting me for uh, basically point out, pointing out a lot of the corruption and stuff that's going on with them. So until then, y'all be blessed, man. Thank you.